So I've been um, analyzing global temperature anomalies. The kind of hot colors, the reds and, and oranges are where it's been warmer than average and the blues are where it's colder than average. This is November, late November of 2013. And this cold anomaly that became known as the polar vortex started in early December. Here we are, um, here's where it begins. And if you can make out the United States here, um, we have this cold core and the whole lower 48 US almost or the western part is abnormally cold. I distinctly remember this because I was on the west coast and there was ice on the street in San Francisco while I was there for a meeting. And um, this cold um, takes over the, the US. Let's, we're just marching forward here. We're now December 6th through 13th, the second week in December. So now most of the United States is engulfed in deep freeze. Um, marching forward in time, that cold moves north and it's really just Canada that's feeling it at that time. Um, the U.S. gets some kind of normal temperatures in green. And at this time, look at the Arctic and there's this island north of Norway called Svalbard. And these pink colors, this is where this part of the Arctic is at least 24 Fahrenheit above normal at this time that the this part of Canada is is cold. This is the um, kind of third week in December. Now going forward again, um, this cold eventually returns to the U.S. And here it is. Um, so now we're in the first week of January, and um, the cold uh, folks in the U.S. are feeling this cold again. And now have a look up at Alaska. Um, the, it's a warm anomaly, and eventually that's going to um, come back. Let's see, it's it's gone it's gone away. The polar vortex went away again. Going forward, um, here's the point where Alaska is abnormally warm. Temperatures are more than 20 Fahrenheit above average at the time that the eastern U.S. is starting to get colder than average again. And moving forward in time, Alaska stays cold, uh, sorry, the Alaska stays warm and the cold intensifies. Uh, you can see the Great Lakes here. It looks like kind of Ohio is at the coldest point here at about um, 20 Fahrenheit below average. Meanwhile, in Alaska, temperatures are more than 20 Fahrenheit above average. Now when we look across the globe over to Asia, Siberia is also cold. And you'll notice uh, um, that across the Arctic temperatures are uh, abnormally warm. This is the warm Arctic cold continents pattern that's been recognized earlier. Let me go forward in time. You know at this point the US is still cold. This is now the last week of January. 2014. Look how cold it is across uh, Asia, Siberia, and you know again at least 20 Fahrenheit below average. Meanwhile, the Arctic is 20 Fahrenheit above average, and the U.S. is remains in the cold. Now we're going into February. Um, that warm is now north of Alaska, and this is when we started to see reports of Arctic sea ice trending down at record uh, low values. Um, the cold persists in the U.S. We are now in the um, first week of February. And, and notice now across the Atlantic, this, is, this cold air that was rushing out from the U.S. is strengthening storms that were lining up and um, lashing the U.K. with, with floods. Um, at this time, uh, the island of Svalbard, north of Norway, is uh, at record high. And February of 2014 turns out to be the warmest February on record in Svalbard here in the Arctic, um, with record keeping beginning in 1899. So that's like a 115-year record was set uh, just last month in in uh, Svalbard. Um, let me go forward, and at this point, you know, you see the at the North Pole, it's about more than 20 Fahrenheit above average, and the United States is still moderately cold, and we're 
let's take it forward to the present. We're already in March now of um, 2014, so let me bring us up to March, and the cold returns again to the U.S. Um, at this point, this is like the fourth extended episode of the polar vortex cold affecting the U.S., and again, in the Arctic, it's um, abnormally warm in the Bering Strait and um, east of Svalbard in the Arctic. Um, we're just about at the end of this tour as we bring up to the present today, the March 6th, the United States is more than 20 Fahrenheit below average, especially the northern states, looks like um, Minnesota and, and across the Dakotas are, are quite cold right now. And the Arctic is warm. The warm Arctic cold continents pattern um, is in effect. This happened in December 2009, December 2010, um, mainly affecting Europe. But here the U.S. is getting the worst of it. Okay, so this uh, a cold Arctic or cold continents, warm Arctic, is that is that an idea that is uh, peculiar to you or is there some literature about that? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, scientists by the name of James Overland at um, NOAA's Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory in uh, Washington State um, discovered this pattern of warm Arctic cold continents some years ago and has published on this. And, and we now understand that this is a case where the circulation sets up where the, 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 the jet stream is really amplified and it's pumping um, cold out of the Arctic and, and transporting heat um, into the Arctic from the south. And so there's, there's this kind of swapping of, of uh, this vigorous exchange of heat, you know, that keeps the Arctic warm, warmer than average, that is. And it, it, it makes the, the lower latitudes cold. Um, James Overland and, and um, Jennifer Francis have, have done some pioneering work on, on this issue and it's just kind of amazing to see it uh, unfolding so strongly in 2014 and making the U.S. suffer so much and, and if, if your perspective is only on the United States you think, you know, where's the global warming? It's been canceled. Meanwhile, in, even just in Alaska it's record warm or in across the Arctic Ocean, it, it's near record warm, and, and that's causing uh, record low sea ice right now. Um, so we have to take the global perspective to uh, notice the these strong um, anomalies in temperature, not just cold but warm. Does Overland is Overland on a similar page as Francis as far as? Uh this being some uh, response to the loss of Arctic ice, or does he does yeah. he have a theory on that? Yeah, James Overland at NOAA has um, made reports about um, a pattern that set up that appears to be a quote change in the Arctic circulation system beginning in 2007. At that time, we had a, a sharp decline in Arctic sea ice and. That's really when a lot of this um, abnormally extreme weather um, seems to have begun. Uh, 